the, the Bible? Well, my point is the Bible, the be all and end all, from having been brought up as a Christian, if it's so wonderful, why has it been bastardized so many times? You've got the English, you've got the King James Bible, you've got the International Bible, you've got the Good News Bible, you've got the Catholic Bible, you've got all these different Bibles, supposedly the and, same book. And they're different? They're all different because, do you know why? Some guy went up and says, do you know what? I don't like what's not. I can't get away with doing whatever I want, so I'm going to take that line out, out of it and I'm going to give you my version. Whereas what I like about the Quran, it hasn't changed in 14, since 1400 mm. when the Prophet Muhammad walked, that if there was a world war tomorrow and everybody, and they had to come back and all the Christians were out and that there and the Pope says, right, we want a Bible wrote. And he brought Christians from all over the world. They couldn't write the same version of the Bible. Exactly. Whereas the Quran, you can bring clerics from here, 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 and you can. Exactly. No, no, I, brother, I, yeah. came back. I cannot understand why, you know, they stand and that you left off. I just got That's out. exactly, Brother Peter, that's exactly what you are saying. Yes. You know, I will tell you something. There is a background for this. There is a background. Let me give you some tips of the background. Once I debated one Christian guy here, I said to him, we Muslims, we are, we are able to recite the Quran the way that Muhammad, peace be upon him, recited the Quran. Now, 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 now. I ask him, can you recite the Bible the way that Jesus has recited it? And I bet you nobody could. It's like he said. Is there anyone on earth? No. No one. So the point is, because the first, even I, will, I said this, I said the first patches, they found some patches from the Bible, which is nearly 200 after 180 or 200 years after Jesus. That's right. And one paper or something by St. Paul, whatever. And the irony is that paper written in Greek. My question is, did Jesus speak Greek? That, exactly. I'm so glad you said it because I asked that question over there. Did I he speak Greek? I says, hold on a minute. Jesus spoke Hebrew, not Greek. Romans used Latin, not Greek. Yeah. Hence, because they were in Rome, and that's the language. Uh, so we're, how can they say And, and then he said, he said, one of the things he said, yeah, he must, but must spoke Greek because he spoke to someone, his name is Anton, and he was Greek, or oh, that's a Greek name. I said, hold on a second. What was Anton? Where he belonged from? He said he was Hebrew. I said, Anton, Anton was an Israelite guy. His name is Anton, whatever. And that Anton, or Anthony, he was Israelite. And Jesus spoke to him. Because he spoke to him, he must be speaking in Greek. I said, listen, are you, t are you telling me an Israelite man, a Hebrew man, talking to a Hebrew, another Hebrew man, he will choose to speak a, a, a dead language, which is 300 before Jesus. Exactly. It's already dead. You, if he spoke in Hebrew, I will understand. If he spoke in Aramaic, I will understand. Even if he spoke in Latin, I don't know, but it could yeah, be. You could get away with it, but, but not Greek. But definitely not Greek. That's my point. I said, where this Greek came from? Where this Greek writing came from? So all of these things, you'll, you'll, it will tell us there is something serious that's happening in Christianity, let alone so you don't find the original Bible which was said by Jesus. Exactly. You don't find nothing. You'll find all these stories here and there scattered around. So each one will describe his story the way that they think. Each one will add, each one will deduct, let alone it will be lost in the translation. And of course, that's why there's no... the Quran, the fact that it is spoken and everyone learns it, that they turn around and will always have the same, what it says, the teachings are going to be straight down the line. Good. Peter. Do you believe in God? I do. Do you believe that Jesus was sent by God as a prophet and messenger of God? Yes. Not God? No. There's only one God. One God. Okay. It can't be God and... And the Son and the... No, nothing. One God. God. And he has sent prophets and messengers. Yeah. Do you believe Muhammad was a prophet of God? Well, I do. So, Peter, you're Muslim. No, I, I want to... I, funny, Listen. I take on... Well, I will tell you. But, uh, Let me tell you something, Peter. If you believe there is one God, yes. if you believe Jesus was sent by God as a prophet of God, if you believe Muhammad was a prophet and messenger of God, you're Muslim. You're like us. Yes. But that's why, my brother Peter, what prevents you from coming to Islam and to become an official Muslim? Because I don't know if white people are allowed. What? No, who told you this? Who told you this? Who told you this? Should I bring you some white brothers? <laughs> <laughs>
My brother, listen to me. Islam is for everyone. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, there is no difference between white and black. There is no difference between Arab and non-Arab. There is no difference between them except by fearing God, except by following God. So my brother Peter, again, you all will come to enter Islam. And you will be one of... By the way, there are, you know, there is a brother. I know him. His name is... Uh, and he's a, he's, a, he's a sheikh, actually. He is someone who is a well-learned person, actually. His name is Sheikh Abdurrahim McCarthy. You could, you could, McCarthy is, by the way, his Irish name, you know, but he is American, he's American Irish. He is one of the people who, one of the big callers of Islam. And he is, I could show you his, his picture, I could show you. And he is someone, you know that during the World Cup, yep. he arranged for many of us to go to speak I, to people. I was to there because I was out as guest of some of the sheikhs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> by the way, so this brother, <laughs> this brother, he is the one who arranged for us to go there. And I could show you, say, you know, I will show you his, uh, uh, at least his Facebook picture to tell you, yeah. One second, I will show you. One second, I will show you his... One second, it's a bit... Okay. I don't know for some reason. That's him. That's him. Oh, yes. He's Irish no. like yourself. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> he's sometimes uh, Irish. Like he's like. in his thobe. Yeah, he's in his thobe. So, do you want to become a Muslim? I work for a Muslim company, so all my, bro all they, my they, brothers... It's not about, it's about the Muslim company, they, it's about, they, they, it's they about you, call, Peter. We want to call it, so I end up having to go and I do a lot of the stuff and that there. I understand. <laughs> my point is, Brother Peter. Yes. Since... Well, uh, we have a white brother here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now, Brother Peter. Yes. Don't be reluctant to do the right decision, to take it. So, what I'm, what I'm suggesting to you... Take your shahada now, do it, and become an official Muslim. Be a member of 1.8 billion Muslims. Oh, I know. <laughs> and not just that, and you will be the best Muslim walk on earth. Because in Islam, you start high. <laughs> in Islam. Yeah, in Islam, you start high. So you'll be the best Muslim because all your sins is what? So, Brother Peter, listen, you're Muslim already. You're already there, but just only that step. Let's do it together, me and you. I'm not doing nothing today. I'm nah. having a think about it. No, 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 listen, listen. I will tell you why. I will tell you why. <laughs> nah, listen, we don't guarantee our life. Seriously, yeah. we don't guarantee if we can walk out from this path. We don't know. We don't guarantee we're going to come tomorrow. We don't guarantee. And sometimes God gives us chances and you never know. So that's why. Do that step. And then after that, you have your own lane, of course, on your own base, and do what you do. Live your life, that's normal. But at least you know where you belong. That's all. And don't be prevented by the shaitan. I will give you one story. There is a man, he was one of the famous poets in the Arab Peninsula. So he wanted to embrace Islam. He understood the truth. And he was, at that time, poets, they were like news, like, you know, BBC, like they were known with this. So the people of Quraysh, when they hear this, they said, if this man embraces Islam, it's going to be a chaos for us. So they went to him. He was on the way to Medina to embrace Islam. And he wrote a poetry praising Islam, as you mentioned, praising the Prophet of Islam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was, he was there to embrace Islam. So they met him. They said to him, he said, you know, they tried to bin him, they tried to stop him. He said, no way, I'm going, I'm going. And then they said to him, you know what? We're not preventing you from going. Just don't go this year. You come back next year. And we'll give you 100 camel. Just one year. Give us just one year. Thought about it. What's the harm? I will come back next year. I will get 100 camel and we'll be Muslim after one year. So this is the shaitan thing. So he took the 100 camel. He went back. On the way back, he failed from his camel that he got from them and he died. On the way back, before he reaches his end. And then the Prophet Peace he was sad. And this person, he was about to take his shahada and he was reluctant. So now Peter, 
as I said to you, it's simple. Is you testify what you already said, what you didn't say. What you already said, you believe in one God. You believe in one God, believe in prophet of God, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi You believe in Jesus to be a prophet of God. As simple as that. There is no magic, there is no hidden things. What you will be saying, what you already believe. All right? Repeat after me. Don't worry. So say. We'll say it. We will say it. We will say it in English. And then we'll say it in Arabic, all right? I haven't time. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. Trust me. I really have because my woman Peter, is no worries. My no, wife no. Is he will come. Yeah. She will come. No worries. Listen, <laughs> Peter. Yeah. Let's do it together. And then. I'm not doing that Come on, tonight. come on. I'm not there. Because I'm going to do it. I'm doing it with my best, with, with my friend, the Sheikh who's coming when he comes here. When they come, I will do what? I will do something for you. When the Sheikh comes, when he, yeah. when he comes, we will make a sermon for you at, in the mosque. Yeah. You will come. I will provide for you a certificate. We'll do that. Do you do the one up in Mayfair? Where was your mosque? We'll go, uh, you know, like Central London Mosque. And uh, because we go to the one in Mayfair. No problem. You could go here. Anyway, no problem. Wherever you go, I will provide. We'll make. We'll make a sermon for you, and we'll do it. But now, for now. I, have a, I really have to go because she's got cancer, and I. That's why. He's may Allah, may while. Allah give her shifa. I know. May Allah that's why we her. were in Qatar because we were over one of my friends, the Sheikh. I see. Well, no, one of the Sheikhs were invited us over because we're good friends and that with them. Anyway, there is no composition. In Islam, as you know, but I in the know. same time, in the same time. But I totally agree more. So if I was going to, know, it's what harms? What harms you if you said it? Hmm? What harms you if you said it now? Nothing, but I'm going to see. Yeah, I know you. No, no. What harms you to say it now and go? Because I got a rush and out there. I know. What harms you to say it now? <laughs> Does it harm not, you? Not there. No, okay. I'm not doing it now. I like to think of my own time. Salam, brother. May Allah bring you. Listen, I want you, whenever you want to do it, yep. can you take my number? Let me know. I, my phone. I don't bring a phone at the weekend. Okay. All right. Well, uh, if there anywhere we can contact, anyway we can. Anyway, I'm here. I have maybe my channel. If you want, yep. just just text me whenever you whenever you're ready. No problem. I, I will be I will be happy to be, just to be there. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right, my brother. <laughs> may Allah guide him. Allah, he was about, he's there, but subhanAllah, the guidance from Allah. May Allah guide him and may Allah bring him to Islam and may Allah open the heart of the people to Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.